Just three rounds into the 2019 season there's not only been more free kicks, 10% more than the 2018 average, but unprecedented confusion around rule interpretations. The fans are angry, while players and coaches have, at times, been left bewildered. Livestream the 2019 Toyota AFL Premiership season on KO Sports. Every match of every round. Live. Get your 14-day free trial greater than round 327 games may be a small sample size given the length of the AFL season. But the rage around rule interpretation has reached such crescendo that a large proportion of clubs have already sought clarification from the AFL and umpires department. On Sunday night, Hawthorne coach Alistair Clarkson was pleading for consistency with decision-making, as he has after every match this season. More AFL news 3 perfect scores, 1 big fail, round 3 report card big blow, Fremantle superstar knocked out after head CLASHNOT true, Saints deny flouting 6-6-6 six, six, six rule, what is the most difficult part, and coaches and players are unbelievably resilient and flexible, and as general supporters, coaches, players, it's really just trying to work out what the patterns are. Clarkson said, and that's just going to take a little bit of time, duh. Umpires are trying to work out what the patterns are too, because it's difficult for them, they're trying to adjudicate a game that's got significant change in a very, very short period of time, and supporters are trying to adjust to that too, Bucks feels for the UMPS 114 The AFL introduced nine new rule and interpretation changes for the 2019 season, with an eye to produce a more free-flowing and high-scoring brand of footy. But it's not so much the rule changes that have caused the frustration. Instead, it's what St. Kilda champion Nick Rewolf referred to as the lottery of whether umpires will blow the whistle when they notice insignificant off-the-ball contact, or what may be an accumulation of that off-ball contact. My frustration lies in the same rule being interpreted in different ways, Rewolf said on Sen. Rewolf said he shared fans' anger around the inconsistency of decisions, with Hawthorne's James Sicily penalized against the Western Bulldogs for a tiny push, something that he saw constantly throughout GWS. 49-point win over Richmond, James Sicily the week before, gets a free kick pit against him that cost Hawthorne the game and I would have seen 100 of those between GWS and Richmond, Rewold said. While Sicily's round 2 incident set a poor precedent for the remainder of the year, it was the below-the-knees free kick that was the major talking point of round 3. Collingwood's Tom Phillips conceded a free kick when West Coast's Jamie Cripps flopped over his back at the MCG on Saturday night. Geelong Brownlow winner Patrick Dangerfield called the rule an absolute disgrace, with Rewalt in total agreement, this is the one that really gets players and past players because it takes away the incentive of the core nature of footy, which is to win the ball, Rewalt said, the reason it was brought in is not the way it's now being adjudicated.